Good morning, Don Lane, Fraser Valley News, your morning news update for this Friday, January 31st, <clears throat> and uh, it's going to be wet. Uh, early this morning, a freezing rain warning was put up for Highway 3, so that's the Hope Princeton. For the rest of us, it is a rainfall warning. It's a Pineapple Express. We're shooting for 13 degrees. It's going to be a wet one. Now, having said that, Chilliwack Search and Rescue, as well as the BC River Forecast Center, issuing a high uh, stream flow advisory. So if you're going to be anywhere, like a trail near one of the rivers, uh, please respect the river and please respect the river banks. Uh, because that water's got to go somewhere. It's going to go into the rivers. It's going to wash away. So there you go. Uh, celebration of life for that young Cultus Lake volunteer firefighter who took his life just before Christmas. And uh, it is a public ceremony. And uh, that information is up on FEN, Fraser Valley News Network.com. Pacific Agriculture Show, the 22nd annual, continues at Tradex in Abbotsford. We got some great photo, photos of kids playing on the, uh, the farm equipment, so that's a ton of fun. Plus the backgrounds and, uh, and of course, the farm animals. And yes, plenty of plenty of the uh, the big toys. That's watching the kids. That's cool. Uh, coming up next Tuesday, Chilliwack City Council is going to take a look at the Teske Road Recovery House, which has had a success rate of unbelievable proportions, and it is a zero tolerance facility. So they don't play around there. Uh, that's why their uh, their success rate is is quite high. They are asking for another temporary use permit to continue operation. So a shout out to Karen Bondar, Lynn Jones, and the crew there. Uh, I know Lynn will be at City Council with his presentation. That's next Tuesday, uh, 7 o'clock there. Uh, Abbotsford Councillor Pete Frizzell, uh, congratulations on retirement. So you don't have to deal with media people like us anymore. Oh, come on, you wanted to say that. We know that. Uh, Fraser Valley Home and Garden Expo is next weekend. This uh, Sunday, Groundhog Day. So we'll see if we got six more weeks of, of any of this. Uh, as far as the weather forecast for next week, there's a chance of flurries, snow in the higher elevations, but if it stays zero plus one, nothing's going to stick like a couple of weeks ago. Knock on wood. Have yourself a great day. Stay dry. And please don't splash anyone. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News.